Okay, all right. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. I'm really excited, I'm gonna stay sitting. Can you guys see okay? We're gonna show some pictures, okay. I'm really excited to share with you guys a few things about our trip this summer. It's gonna be really, really cool. And I hope someday you guys all grow up old enough and come to youth group and can be part of something like this as well. Before we talk about our trip to Montana, I wanna share with you guys some things that I love. I love my friends, like Norm. Norm's a good buddy, hey Norm. I love my family. How about you guys, you guys love your family? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love my family. I love, I love sports. I love NBA basketball. It's the most awesome thing. Yeah. I love football, especially the Cornhuskers. Do we have any? Okay, 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 okay. We won't, we won't talk about the Cornhuskers. Great. Okay. How many of you guys raise your hand if you are in school? Raise your hand if you're in school in the fall, yeah? Okay, now when I went to school, there were, there were some things that I didn't like. Shh, I didn't like math. I didn't like math at all. I didn't like science. I didn't like all those other things. I had to do them because that was part of school. But I loved history. I loved studying history. And one of my favorite things to study were a couple guys called Lewis and Clark. You guys see those guys? They're pretty old, old, old guys. How many of you guys have heard of Lewis and Clark? Yeah? Okay. Shh. Lewis and Clark lived about 200 years ago, and they had a very important job given to them by the president. Now, the United States was very, very small back then. It was much, much smaller. Just that little pink area. In fact, Iowa was not even part of the United States. Minnesota and Missouri and Montana and South and North, all those things were not part of our country yet. Where we live was not even part of the United States. So the United States, we bought this part of the country and so the president decided that he needed to have some guys go exploring. So he got Lewis and Clark and he gave them the job of exploring that area, okay? And so this is where it gets really cool. So he sent them off exploring, and they were supposed to learn about the people that they met. They were supposed to learn about the plants and animals and learn about the land. And it was really easy for them. They went right up the river. They went up the Missouri River and went up and up and up into Montana, where we're going this summer. And then they got to some mountains, okay? They got, these are pictures of some of the mountains in Montana. Raise your hand if you've ever been to the mountains anywhere. No, no talking, just for, okay, lots of you have seen the mountains. Now, shh. When you get to the mountains after traveling for a long time and there's no roads, they didn't know how to get through, they didn't know where they were going, they needed some guides. Now along the way they'd met a lot of Native American Indian tribes. One of the tribes that we're going to go see is one of the tribes that they actually met over 200 years ago called the Blackfeet Nation, the Blackfeet Indian tribe there in Montana. Now, the Indians at that time, they helped as guides to lead their group all the way through the mountains. They knew the way to go. The thing that we're excited about, and one of the other things that I really love to do, is I love to tell kids about Jesus, okay? All of the leaders here, that's why we're here. That's why we're here this week doing VBS. We love to tell kids about Jesus. You guys have heard in past years about the Burmese VBS that we're doing, right? We're going to do another, we're going to another group of kids in Des Moines and we're telling them about Jesus. Our teenagers love to help tell kids about Jesus. And that's what we're going to get a chance to do this summer. That very group that was there when Lewis and Clark came through 200 years ago and helped guide them we're going to actually get a chance to go out and guide these kids. Because you know what? While they know the land, they know the mountains, they did then, they do now, these kids grow up in a situation where their families take parts of the Bible and they mix it with worshiping animals. They worship the sun. They have a ceremony they call the sun dance 
where they go out and they worship the sun. They do things where they worship spirits. And they mix that in with their worship of God. And unfortunately, many of these kids grow up in homes. They're kids just like you. And yet they grow up in homes where they don't get a chance to hear about Jesus. And that's what we're so excited to do is this summer, we're going to go out and we're going to work at a camp where kids that are 9, 10, and 11 years old, the age of a lot of you guys, they're going to come to camp and they're going to get a chance to hear about Jesus. They're going to be there for a whole week and we get to share the gospel with them, okay? Now, we want to be their guides to know more about God. We want to share with God. Now, I've got a verse I want to share with you. It's in Psalms, Psalm chapter 119, 105, where it says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet. The Bible is actually our guide spiritually to show us what we need to do, to show us where we want to go. There's a couple things that God expects of us. There's many things God expects of us, but two that are very important. Isaac, can, there we go. Romans chapter 13. What is the first thing, guys? What is the first thing God wants us to do? What does God want us to do? Obey Him. Close. We're getting there. Believe in Him. God wants us to give our lives, to surrender our lives to Jesus. It says there in verse 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. God wants us to put our faith in Him and our trust in Him. That's what Mr. Adam, that's what your teachers are teaching you this week. How you can put your faith in God. Once you do that, what does God want you to do with your friends? God wants you to tell others about Jesus. And that's what we're going to do. So this week, guys, listen up, just one more minute. This week, as you bring your offering, you are giving money that's going to help us take our teens, our senior high teens, out to Montana to tell other kids about Jesus who have never, some of them never had a chance to know God's Word and to know more about Him and to know the love of Christ. And that's what we're going to get to do this summer. We're going to spend a whole week with them sharing Jesus' love with them, um, building them some games that they can play, teaching them about God's Word. And we're also, this allows us to help them pay for some of their camp too. Okay? So... Um, Mr. Adam, can I pray for our group this summer? Is that all right before we stop? Okay, guys, we're going to pray for our group this summer, and I just want to thank you for helping to help us go out and share the gospel. Dear Lord, we just thank you so much for this opportunity that we all have, these kids this week, to come here and hear about Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have with our teens later this summer, later in July, to go out, uh, go out to Montana and get with a group of kids that don't know you, Lord, and to share the gospel with them. We thank you for all these kids coming and learning more about your son and your love for them. We pray these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Tony. Give him a round of applause. Give him a, give him a round of applause.